Hi there, Sagittarius. Hi there, Jeremiahians. This is your birth angel horoscope for the June period, for the Gabriel Gemini period, so end of May, kind of towards the end of June. I was just saying before we came on to Shelley, I like Jeremiah. He's one of my favourite angels, and Shelley was saying why. And I like <laughs> him because he's he's kind of, he's all about change. Jeremiah is the archangel of change. And he's not just about like change that's out of the blue. And he's not just about change that you have to deal with or cope with. Jeremiah helps you to transition if you're going through something difficult. But he helps you to really embrace change and get the, like every, if you can imagine wringing out change as a wet cloth. That's what Jeremiah does. He gets every last drop of goodness out of it and that's why I like Jeremiah and I think his energy is quite similar to Metatron and Metatron's my birth angel it's quite dynamic quite kind of um he's one of the action birth angels um and that's probably why where the link is but <laughs> I suppose he feels a bit like a bit like another brother if you see what I mean like Metatron's my birth angel so I feel a real affinity to him and it's kind of like he's his brother in some way there's there's definitely a bond there I, I like Jeremiah. So this month, Jeremiahians, you do love a, fre a breath of fresh air in your lives. And whether it be through new people or through thoughts or through new ways of living or being, Gabriel's energy this month will bring you all of this and more, spreading her creative ideas, need for clear communication and expression as she goes. So what are you not saying, Jeremiahians? What are you not expressing and what are you trying to bury in your life? communicate it. This month Gabriel's energy asks you to update yourself. I don't mean you need to go out and get change your image or anything but the the picture that they gave me in my head the angels was imagine pressing the refresh button on your life and see what appears. See what's come along, what's happened while you've not been paying attention. Your single-mindedness, which I really quite admire in um, Jeremiahians, has led you to miss the bigger picture. You've been focused on one thing and you've not seen what's going on around you at the same time. And there's a much more positive picture waiting for you. So update your perspective and you'll see a whole new exciting and thrilling world to influence and interact with. So your word for the month, Jeremiahians, is update. Over to Shelley. Hi, this is Shelley Overton with angelzodiac.com. And this is your birth angel astroscope for Sagittarius for the, the sign of Gemini. Um, Sagittarius, amazing Roz, is just like Jeremiah because Sagittarius is an energy of go. It's a fire sign and they want adventure. They want travel and it is ruled by Jupiter. And now this month, Jupiter is in Cancer wanting more adventure around the home environs. Mm. And it falls into, Jupiter falls into the house of commitment to partners in Cancer. So that is really a focus for right now until July when Jupiter goes into uh, Leo. And that will be good for you as well because Leo is a fire energy and it's a creative energy and it will start expanding your creative energies around uh, understanding spirituality. Uh, you could, you know, paint, paint a picture. Um, actually, Sagittarius is the sign of uh, comedians and musicians and sports figures. So all of those will find an added boost after the second half of the year when Jupiter goes into Leo. But this month, uh, Mars in Libra moving forward now, it was retrograde until uh, May 19th, so it's moving forward in your house of friendships. So there's going to be a balancing. You might find that you have more than one strong friend right now. And people could be finding you not as available for them. So there could be some jealousy coming up with that. But um, the energy is that you have multiple friends. And you may even want to see about coming to some type of understanding with a career uh, move with friendships because the balancing energy of Libra is in your house of commitment to your career and also the the fruition of career energy. 
So let's see what else we have for the Gemini energy coming in your chart. It's about partnership and it's about communicating. So you definitely want to communicate with your partner exactly what you're feeling. And the Sagittarius energy is one of freedom. And the opposite sign for marriage and partnership is Gemini. And Gemini's like to flip from one thing to another. So they have that attention that goes to multiple things and they're very intelligent and they're very charismatic. So this will be your month for really wooing your partner and really finding the fun and finding the useful energy to express in your partnerships. Um, Libra energy right now is, let me find it again, <laughs> is going to be uh, really strong, you know, for friendship with the partnership. Then uh, Neptune, which is in Pisces, is in your house, a home, and family. So again, it's what part of your family life are you not really looking clearly at or you know what part would you like to make into more of an ideal situation that is the energy this month for your home and family um pluto in your second house of money again what is the structure that you're having to shift and change in the money situation it could mean that you're selling a house buying a house or just reviewing what you've done with your finances but that's continuing on as the cardinal cross affects your house of money, joint finances, friendship, and creativity. So know that that's going to be a really strong influence through next March. That's your astroscope for Sagittarius for the sign of Gemini.